Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is of course Jack and welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2. And today I'm going to be doing a bit more of an educational commentary video for those people that are, you know, newer to Lumber Tycoon 2 or just haven't really, you know, been paying attention to all of the, you know, things that Lumber Tycoon 2 has to offer. And today's video is all about what is the Shrine of Sight. A lot of people have just been asking, like, you know, what is the Shrine of Sight? So I decided, you know what, if so people are so unsure about what this is, I will put a poll out on my YouTube community tab. And it's been a day, I left it a day, and uh, to see if people were unsure what it was about, and it turns out people were unsure what it was about, so I've decided that I'm going to go and record and tell you guys what it's about. But before we get started with this video, please be sure to go down below, like, comment, and also subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you don't miss a latest video that releases about this amazing game called Lumber Tycoon 2. Have you guys ever played it? I think it's amazing. Just while we're driving up to the Shrine of Sight, I just want to mention something about the Lumber Tycoon 2 updates that you may have been seeing over the last couple of days. As you will have seen, I obviously released a video about the, uh, you know, about the secret new update in Lumber Tycoon 2, about some things that we've noticed in the, uh, you know, the last couple of weeks in Lumber Tycoon. Now, I just want to mention that on the day when I released that video, Defaultio added another new update to Lumber Tycoon, again, with the change not, change log not being updated. He then yesterday also went and did the same thing again. So two days in a row, he's done a, an update where we don't know what's been in it. Now, these are probably just patch updates. Uh, however, I've been through a couple of things, you know, thinking of the obvious things that, you know, are probably affecting the game the most at the minute. Namely, one that Electro pointed out, there's a GUI glitch when you hover, hover your mouse to go and check uh, the car spawners. And then also the, uh, the wobble heads, which don't allow your trucks to move anymore. I'm not going to roll through all of them, but to the main ones that I can think of that, you know, he would have, you know, patched. Um, and it seems that none of them have been patched as of yet, unless he's still working on them, trying to fix them. Uh, but ne nevertheless, he has been in the Lumber Tycoon 2 game in studio over the last few days. So fingers crossed, it means hopefully we can expect to see some new things coming pretty soon to Lumber Tycoon. So just to give a bit of a background story onto this place. So this is this place here is called the Shrine of Sight. The Shrine of Sight, as you can probably see, is just next to the volcano. Next to the volcano entrance, instead of turning into the entrance, drive straight ahead and you'll fall down this cliff here. You fall down and uh, you may need to flip your truck using the blueprint glitch and then you drive into this cave just here you will see that straight ahead in this cave there is a door or an entryway. By this entryway you'll need to place a stick of dynamite and if you place the dynamite just at the front and detonate it that will explode and open up a doorway. Happy days. And as you drive down here this here is the shrine of sight. So yeah just above there it says deliver my sight. A good way of trying to see what it says is actually by turning your graphics quality down to zero. That makes it slightly easier to see. I'm just going to turn mine back up. As you can see, it's quite it's a little bit more difficult to actually read uh, with graphics quality set to uh, full or on high. So this place here, called the Shrine of Sight, was added back in 2016. In the same year in 2016, one of the Christmas presents that they had that year was the Big Gift. The Big Gift was like a massive silver present that you could buy from Wood R Us and it was in the shop front window. And inside of those gifts were these cubes. Now, these are just two random cubes that I picked up from my base. They're not the cubes that you need, but I just thought that I would bring them along just for a demonstration anyway. But pretty much the cubes go up, I'm pretty sure, to 24. So as you can see, there's a number. Oh, well, evidently it doesn't go up to 24 because this one's 25. Definitely goes up to like 25, I'm pretty sure. There's it's definitely around 25 it goes up to. Is this 25 as well? So the cubes go up to, I think, about 25, I'm pretty sure. Um, and pretty much you needed cube number 12 and cube number 13, and you drop them into these here. For example, I'll just put these cubes here. This won't do anything because these are uh, the wrong numbers, uh, but I thought that I would just bring them here for a demonstration. For example, say this cube here is cube number 12. In order for this to work, you would have to click cube number 12 22 times. So where it says E and open box, Box in the corner, you'd have to click it 22 times. So 1, 2, 3, 21, 22. Okay, so now that's been clicked 22 times just there. There is a bit of lag. Exactly the same with this one here. You'd have to click this one 23 times. So pretend this is cube 13. You'd have to press this 23 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 21, 22, 23. So once you click those down, they get gradually smaller. Pretend that that right there, that's number thir uh, number 12 and this one's number 13. You would go ahead, place these on the side, or if there's two of you, drop them in at the same time. 
you would go ahead and drop these into here as like so one and two so if they were the right cubes this would then open up i'm actually going to include a video from a live stream that i did where we actually went and got the bold and brash painting which is through here and as you can see as we're driving through the door opens and we have to drive round. and as we drive in we can see that in the middle there is like a sort of um, podium area and on this uh, on this stand or podium there is a painting, and the painting is called The Bold and Brash, um, and it's a reference, I'm pretty sure, to Spongebob. Um, don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure that it is. So as you drove in, you could see that The Bold and Brash was there. Now, The Bold and Brash at one point was a really rare painting. I was actually planning to show you going into the Shrine of Sight in this video. I was trying to get the number 12 and number 13 box. They are really difficult to come by. I even tried to get it in the Lumber Tycoon 2 fan group Discord um, by putting it in the trading chat, and still, I could not get it. So they are really difficult to get your hands on but as you'll see there are plenty of people in the Lumber Tycoon 2 community that are actually selling these paintings um, and we can go ahead and pick them up for quite cheap prices obviously because they've been duped so much okay so I've loaded up on a different base um, just so I can go ahead and show you this I'm really sorry to have piled that up nicely it wasn't me so I don't know who did it so yeah this here is the bold and brash painting as you can see it's uh, as I said it's it's like a squidward painting it's also known as the squidward painting so you know it's just whatever you want to call it really now fun facts about this painting. I have another one here, so let's go ahead and open this one. So if you walk up to the painting and click the frame, bold and brash. it makes a bold and brash sound effect, which I'm yeah pretty sure is from SpongeBob. Uh, I don't really, I I never really watch SpongeBob, so yeah, I can't really say you know that I know that for a fact. I'm just saying what people have told me. Um, don't bully me for not knowing what uh, for not watching SpongeBob. So that one feature there makes it slightly different from every other painting that we have in the game. Another interesting fact about the bold and brash painting, which may be completely unrelevant, but as some something that's always been stuck in my mind. As you can see in the back here, I have an eye because we are going to the end times biome. So obviously, you know, most people know how to get to the, down to the end times biome. You need the ostrich eye. You, you put it into the glass in the toll booth and then you lower the bridge down and it will take you into the end times biome. Take my money. We've just extended it slightly because um, obviously, you know, I do have a... Uh, <laughs> Habit of forgetting to do that and then getting stuck down there, which is, uh, you know, not the most convenient thing in the world, let's put it like that. We're now down in the end times biome, and instead of going to the end times tree, take a left and you can drive down this bit here. This here is the portal that you can use in order to escape if the bridge goes up and you need to uh, get out of here. You can also chuck wood down there and it will also teleport it through to the safari exit hole, which is somewhere over by Fancy Furnishings over in the safari. So this is could be completely coincidental. The size of the end times portal escape is the exact same shape as the bold and brash boxed painting. We don't know whether this is just simply a coincidence, which it could well be, but as I will show you now, you can go ahead and put this into the escape. As you can see, it's the exact same shape. It will fall down and it just lands down there. As you can see, you can literally see from there where it's landing. It is the exact same shape. I don't know, it could be a complete coincidence or there could be a purpose to the fact that it's the exact same size. As you can see, if you just drop through into here, as you can see, the painting is not here in the, the safari exit. The painting stays in the end times biome, obviously just underneath the teleport. So it obviously doesn't teleport objects, only uh, the wood. Um, so we can jump down here and it will take us to the exact same place that it normally does, which is obviously the safari exit hole. So yeah, whether that is just a complete coincidence, or maybe there's a reason, or if there's a reason to behind why that is the same size, I have no idea. Maybe that's something you guys can work out. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, but that, is me, uh, that has been me explaining the Bold and Brash and the Shrine of Sight. I hope to those people that it was confusing to in the last video, I hope that that has made a little bit more sense. Like I said, some massive videos coming out over the next couple of weeks, so do keep an eye out for those. We're so close to 10,000 subscribers now, and as I said, at 10,000 subscribers, there's some really exciting news that I can't wait to share with you guys. But yeah, I will catch you in my next video.